healed, our emotions put in check, and all those things that we need to hold on to to have our peace, have our joy, and have our happiness. So as we read through John 12 and 12 through 18, I want us to understand this is a celebration. So as we approach and as we go out these doors, celebrate what the Lord has done for you. Because this was for you. To be in your appointed place doing the appointed things that God intended for you to be doing. So anything that's outside of God, you should put it to the side today. And I always just speak on today because we all have our different challenges and sometimes it's harder than others. But today, let's focus. A successful man only becomes successful because of his focus, not his intentions. We sometimes have good intentions, but we have our focus in different places. So today the Lord is telling you to focus on me. Focus on this week, the holy week that I have prepared for you and the sacrifice that I made for you on your behalf. Because you might not be here today if I didn't do what I did those days. So your experience is just not your experience that you experience. It's experience that I put before you to experience, to see and to hear. So let us receive the Lord the way that he should be received. In verse 12 and 12, it says, The next day, a great multitude that had come to the fest, when, the, when he heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him and cried out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. The king of Israel. This is the first time they acknowledge him as king. So all the things that he did before, it still didn't pin him the way that it should hit him. So all the things that you go through, some things, sometimes it's not going to hit you the way that it should hit you. But it's going to come a time in your life where you're going to have to recognize him as the king. Amen. So they recognize him as the king. Hosanna. Hosanna. What does Hosanna mean? Save now. So they said, save me now. Some of us are crying out right now, save me now. I'm in a rut, save me now. I can't wait no longer, save me now. I can't wait till tomorrow, save me now. Some of us in that right now phase. Save me now. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Save me now. Now. How many of us need a right now? I've been waiting a long time for this right now. I need it right now. I don't know if I can go through another day, Lord, going through this same trauma. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. It's breaking me down. I needed something right yeah. now. Yeah. 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 So that's why God said this is the beginning. Yeah. Because I'm going to send you something new today, right yeah. now, because yeah. you need it. Yeah. 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 I said I would never leave you nor forsake you. So at this appointed time, I'm going to give it to you right now. Yeah. Right now. Do you receive it? Do you receive it? Do you receive it? I don't think we receive. I don't think they receive it, Lord. They still sitting down, Lord. They don't receive it. They ain't giving you no glory. They ain't giving you no praise. They ain't honoring you for all the sacrifices you made for them. They don't remember when you took them out, took them in, you when they was in that car. They don't remember when they was drunk and driving and all of that stuff, doing smoking weed and all of those things. They don't remember when they was fornicating. They don't remember that you brought them through. They don't remember when you paid their bills. They don't remember when you paid a heal heart when they lost someone. They don't remember those things. We do this in remembrance of what he even did for us. We got to remember, y'all. We can't forget what he's done for us. We can't sit on God and just act like everything is peaches and cream. 
sacrifice for you. A major sacrifice. So even though you're going through what you're going through, it ain't nothing compared to what he did and what he, his son went through. You ain't been wounded in the side. You ain't had no thorns on your head. You ain't been spit on as you was walking. You ain't had to have somebody bear a cross for you. You ain't going through nothing compared to what Jesus went through. So you should be really celebrating right now. Because he spared you all the agony that you could have went through when you was going through certain things. He took it away. He made a way. Out of no way. When you didn't deserve it. I'm speaking to myself. See, because I know what he did for me. I know my story. You know your story? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Psalms 118 and 25. I got three versions I want to read to you. Um, the first one is out of the contemporary version. It says, we'll ask the Lord to save us. We'll sincerely ask the Lord to let us win. Mm -hmm. Psalms, the, the, in the um, NIV, it says, Lord, save us. Lord, grant us success. In the King James verse, it says, save now. I beseech thee, O Lord. Yeah. O Lord, I beseech thee. See in me now prosperity. Yeah. They all are asking for the same thing. Yeah. For the Lord to intervene in their lives. Yeah. To do something miraculous in their lives. Yeah. Didn't mean that they deserved it, but they still asking for the request. See, sometimes we feel like we don't deserve something, and we forget to ask for the request. Yeah. Save me. From a wretched man that I know I am. Yeah. Save me out of my situation that I know I put myself in. Yeah. Yeah. See, the Lord is a forgiving God. Yeah. He ain't going to hold you hostage for nothing that you do as long as you ask. Yeah. Save me. Save me, Lord. Now. I need you. Yes. Now. And a prime example comes from when we think about this terminology. Save us. In Psalms 107, verse 1, 6, and 8, in the King James versions, Version, it says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. What is that saying to you? God loves his people. He loves his people. So he loves you, he loves me, he loves his people. So anybody that ever loves somebody, do you actually, just, just because you don't do everything that you they want you to do, does that mean that you treat them wrong you don't like them? He loves his people. He said, my mercy endures forever. So I'm always going to spare you. I'm always going to give you a chance. I'm always going to help you in the, in the time of help. I'm always going to do things according to my will for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is for you. Yeah, yeah. This is for you. Yeah, yeah. This is for us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then it goes on to say, Then they cried unto the Lord in their troubles, and he delivered them out of their distress. In this scripture, four times, this whole phrase came up again and again and again. And you know what they was doing in the middle of these this, these two, um, verse 6 and 7? They was doing wrong. They were sinning. They wasn't fought being obedient. But they kept reflecting back to the same thing. Then they cried. How many times you done cried? And you knew you was wrong and you still crying anyway. I always tell that, that I, I don't know if my father remember this, but the last time I got a whooping, I did something real bad. And he whooped me. And when normally he whooped me, I get to yelling before he the first whoop. But I took it because I knew I was wrong. And that was the last time I ever got a whooping. Because I knew I was wrong. 
See, God is just kind of giving us an understanding. When you know that you're wrong, I know you're going to cry out to me, but I need you to change. Amen. I don't need you to keep on coming back to me with the same old scripture. Then they cry unto the Lord in their troubles. When are you going to stop putting yourself in trouble? And you just going to start listening to me so you can get out of trouble. So you don't get no whooping no more. And he delivered them out of their distress. He delivered me out of my distress. He helped me to recognize what I did was truly, 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 truly wrong. And you shouldn't be doing nothing like that. He wakes us up to our own mishaps. He gives us directions in our own mistakes. But every time that you come crying, he going to bring you out of your distress. Thank you, Jesus. Every time that you come crying, I ain't talking about smiling. You know how sometimes you ask somebody for forgiveness and you know you don't mean it? You just doing something according just to kind of make it smooth over? But then you go back to doing the same thing? Because then come verse 8, it says, Oh, that man would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. God had a request of them. He only wanted them to remember what he did for them the last time. Yeah. Yeah. We have to remember what he did for us last time. Yeah. And that will help us in this time. Yeah. We don't have to keep going through the same thing if we remember. Yeah. How many things can you go back and remember mm -hmm. and it can change your moment right now? Yeah. See, you say sinning right now, it's sinning right now. He asked you to remember what I did for you last time so you can correct yourself this time. Yes. So you can understand right now. Yes. So you can under be get through this situation. Yes. It ain't nothing new under the sun. It's all the same old thing. Trials and errors. Mistakes and consequences. Good and bad. Nothing new. But if we remember what he did for us last time and how he got us through, we can get through this time as well. Amen. Thank you. Ain't God good? Yes, yes, yes sir. Yes. Because yes. in verse 15, he tells us, Fear not, daughter of Zion. Behold, your king is come, sitting on a donkey or coat. Behold, your king is come. Fear not. Fear not is one of the most frequently command in the Bible. Because he don't want us to fear. Fear not your situation. Fear not the obstacle that you face with. Fear not because you can overcome. Be encouraged. This is a day of encouragement. I remember it was it was funny, but the other day somebody said, I see you on YouTube. I, I know you don't know me. But you always got your my, your foot on my throat. <laughs> Fear not. For the Lord is coming. Amen. The King is coming. Yes. Thank you, to Jesus. deliver you from all your misery. Yes. Yes. So when you feel like my foot on your throat, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna feel that no more because you ain't gonna be going through that same trauma Amen. that you might be going through now. Amen. So we gotta get over what we need to get over. We got to stop acting like we can just surpass things and, and just let it be. No, you got to face it. Because once you face it, you conquer it. Amen. Nobody can win a battle if you don't face your enemy. Yes. You got to face your enemy to win the battle. Yes. So if you always hide in the one that's under, the, and you know, how they, they dig the cane, you always the one that's down all the way down at the bottom, and you don't never look your head up to see if the enemy is close, you dead. Right. You can't be delivered. You can't get no resurrection. It's going to hold you hostage. That's why I say fear not. Fear not your situation. Fear not your, 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 the circumstances that you got right now. Don't let nothing concern you. Don't let people bother you. Don't let nobody tell you who you are. Fear not. Because you are a child of God. Yeah. And behold, the king is coming. Amen. 
He's coming, y'all. Wherever you at in your life, he's coming. Before you step in your door at home, he gonna be there with you. As soon as you get in your car, you're gonna feel his presence in your seat. Some of us right now feeling his presence. Because he's lifting something off of you that you had on you when you came in. And he said, you ready? You're new. I renewed you. I'm here now. I'm here now. You said you needed me. Here I am. Here I am. Fear not. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Why don't I fear? Because I ride and I stab my comfort. I'm in the valley, but I fear no evil. Because he has already sent the rod and the staff to comfort. Why am I afraid? Why am I afraid? Why am I afraid? Only you can answer that question. Only you 